In this video, I demonstrate how to miter a tube. The intent of this video is for bicycle frame building applications, but I'm sure it has applications outside of bicycle frame building. Now what a miter is, is essentially a series of uh, curved cuts placed at the end of the tube so that the tubes meet together at your desired angle with maximum overlap. Now if I weren't to miter this tube here, they'd only meet at one point, which would be a very weak joint. Now I do own a tube notching jig, however, uh, this actually is a Reynolds uh, 400 series stainless steel tube and it's not going to cut very well with a bimetal hole saw. So I'm going to use a cheaper method uh, that actually works better uh, by grinding the tube. It involves the use of a computer template. So this is a computer program made by Giles Puckett, some computer frame building genius guy, that uh, makes a little template that you can print out and put on the tube to miter it. It's about 300k, and as far as I know, it's uh, shareware. Otherwise, I owe Giles a lot of money. So, uh, when you bring up the program, it's just one window, one drop down menu. Uh, gives you default settings, uh, which we're not going to use. So, we go to File, Settings. Okay, so the first box asks us for the diameter of the tube we're going to miter, and that is 31.7. Its wall thickness is uh, 0.6 millimeters. The other tube diameter is also 31.7, and the intended angle is 120 degrees. So you hit OK. And you may notice that the template has changed. Okay, then we print this out. So the computer gave us two sets of miter curves. One is a theoretical miter curve, as if the uh, tube had a uh, thickness of zero, and the other one's the actual curve we need. It's important to know which one is which, otherwise your miter will be terrible. Simply compare it to the output on your screen, and we want the miter on the inside. So I put a little mark on the miter we want. So you simply cut out along the lines here. So that's our template after we cut it out. So simply place the template on the end of the tube as such. So you secure it in place with scotch tape and make sure that the ends are nice and even. Looks good. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cut a V here to take out some of the excess metal. And we can do that with either a hacksaw a uh, angle grinder with a cutting wheel or a rotary tool with a reinforced cutting wheel. I'm going to use a angle grinder just because it's what I have handy right now. Be sure to wear the appropriate eye and ear protection. So even though it's called a cutting wheel, you're really grinding it. That cuts pretty easy with a grinder. Careful not to leave these in your driveway, these little shards. Gave my wife a flat tire once. She was not very thrilled about that. We turn it over, we're gonna do it on the other side. So we're gonna use the bench grinder here to make a rough miter. We're gonna grind it down to within one to two millimeters of the actual paper template. Oh, that's my rough miter. Still got a little ways to go, but it's uh, looking pretty good. We're within a couple millimeters of the template here. For our fine miter, we're going to use a rotary tool. This particular rotary tool is a Dremel knockoff, though the actual bit is a Dremel brand. And this is a simply a small grinding bit. Now we're going to use this rotary tool to grind down to the very edges of the paper template. Thank you. 
So there's our fine miter. Let's assemble this and see how it fits. So if you do this right, you really shouldn't have any gaps larger than the thickness of a finger or thumbnail. And we're there. Not bad for a $20 rotary tool and a $15 bench grinder. And that's it.